Hello guys and welcome to another Let's Play here in Victoria 2 with the Divergence of Darkness uh, mod as the Nation of Provence. This is going to be the third, fourth technically, I think, or something like that. Well, actually no, fifth if we're really being accurate. But yeah, I'm going to try and play Provence in this mod. Uh, and uh, yeah, so uh, the reason that you guys have not seen the previous attempts for those watching on YouTube is because, well, I just streamed those, but they failed, obviously, so now I have to do it all over again. Uh, if I sound salty, it's because I am salty, but uh, that is the price to pay when you play Victoria 2, eh? Uh, so yeah, for those who do not know, this is a um, this is an alternate history mod called, as I said, Divergence of Darkness. Um, this is the HPM version of it, although it is slightly modified. Specifically, I have added the uh, HF or the unique HFM reforms. Uh, I've tried to fix the national value bug and the technology bug. Although technically, I didn't actually fix the national value bug myself. I just copy pasted that from another guy called God of Cheese. Uh, which is, to be fair, who I got most of the idea or tips on how to fix this from. But still, uh, let's just jump into the game. Plus it with bread, yeah. This is the run that wins. <laughs> well, as always, I need to... Uh, I need to restart Scum in order for my strategy to work, which still is the exact same thing that I've done like a billion times now, which is to invade Modena, hope that I can take Milan, and then if I cannot take Milan, take Eritrea. So... Yay, let's do the exact same thing that I've done like so many times at this point. And yeah, so basically I need... Um, I need to get not that much infamy for uh, from this initial war because if I if I don't get not that much infamy I can't take Eritrea and if I can't take Eritrea then the strategy doesn't work does it so boohoo All right let's try and replicate the things that I did last time however which revolved around making sure I am aligned to Aragon before going to war I need to get artillery, horsemen, I need to get trade policy, I need to tax the abominable population, um, and not pay for anything else. Then I need to uh, try and see if I can get some more soldiers. Also, where can we copy our super version of Dodd? Well, I was going to post it uh, after, because this is technically still like a test game. Because um, I wanted to test if the mod actually works before I can post it, but I'm starting to realize it's going to take a while for me to actually finish anything in this. So, um, yeah. Maybe I should just... Um, maybe I should just post it already. Also, I just remembered that I need to build navy, get a general, and I did not get a good general, and it doesn't matter because I got busted too early. I'm going to risk trying to do just good old-fashioned improved relations. Oh, there we go. We actually got lucky one time. Fuck. Now the question is, do we try and wait for another point in Diplo? Or do we declare on Modena now before they ally Savoy? Well, I'm gonna try and risk it and see if I can get that sweet, sweet alliance. Okay. And they're not allied. Good! Alright, we might have a viable run on our hands. Um. Did I forget to do research? I did. Uh, we have no good general, but that's okay at this point. See, so yeah, I'm just gonna invade them. Not right now. Damn it, I can't. Fuck, I forgot about that. Yeah, the whole diplomatic point system in this game is insanely stupid. Like, what do you mean I cannot invade a nation? So you're really saying that the entire diplomatic corps of this entire nation has no one capable of running over, you know, like, a, I don't know how many days it takes to get over here. Like, just tell them, like, hey, war. 
Like, dude, like the Diplo system is fine. It's just the fact that you need these arbitrary points. I'm sure this is where Johan got his funny ideas about mana from. Oh yes, these arbitrary points that slow down gameplay for no reason. Oh yes, I quite like this. Let's implement this in the future releases. <laughs> Alright. So Argon would actually join. I'm not sure if I want them to join though. Because I fear they're going to add a different war goal, and as a result, make my conquest impossible. Yeah, let's not risk that. Oh, thank god, they're still not... Still not allied. Yeah, for the, if this ends up on YouTube, uh, the reason I'm so stressed out is well, first of all, I've had I've tried to play this Cursed Nation so many times at this point, and they're, they've all failed. But yeah, in a previous attempt, Modena allied with Savoy, and I had to, and Savoy is obviously allied with the Dual Monarchy, and Savoy is stronger than Modena, and so I had to get into this massive war. Although the Dual Monarchy didn't actually get involved in that previous step, but well, let's not talk about alternate realities that failed. Let's see if this is the one. Yeah, if you really, really want to know why I'm so insanely salty, it's because in one of my previous attempts, I actually conquered Valencia, which, like, I have course on. So, yay. Also, someone remind me to edit the uh, part where I talk about the history of uh, Provence into the YouTube video. Yeah, so Provence is the only thing that remains of the Kingdom of France uh, after the Hundred Years' War. Um, because, yeah, basically England won. And allied Burgundy. Burgundy was upgraded to a kingdom. And, um, and England claimed France. And now they are the dual monarchy. And uh, the Valois, 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 oh god, Valois, should say it somewhere. Yeah, the Valois dynasty, yeah, lost in the Hundred Years' War. There is a decision here that lets you read the history. I'm just going to click through it so that you guys can pause and read it if you will. Uh, I'm not going to be bothering to do that while on stream. I've read it myself, though. So I feel like I know the basics. But yeah, basically, the, uh, the Hundred Years' War did not work out. And then the remaining kingdom of Provence or whatever uh, tried to have influence in Italy. And then that didn't really work out, and there was a bunch of wars and coalitions and crap, and even more crap, and Provence just ended up being a little puppet state of um, of, um, of Aragon, the Kingdom of Aragon. And uh, yeah, and then there was a bunch of crap about Protestantism, blah blah blah. Does that actually matter? Are we like Protestant or something? I think we're, I think we're Catholic now though, but not that that really matters in this game. But yeah. So at this point, uh, the way things stand is that uh, we have a question. Um, do we continue to, f to fight against the Plantagenets to reclaim our birthright, or do they go against their master? Or do, or do they? Yeah, that's misspelled. Or do we go against? Or do they? What? Okay. Well, I'm not. Well, basically, what they're meaning is like, um, or do we try and uh, reclaim our shit in um, Italy? Because there's like some history behind this, where like the Duke of uh, Provence or King, I don't know what, what they are, was also the Duke of uh, Ferrara or something, and at some point the Duke of Etruria, but then the, or the Duke of Tuscany, but then the Tuscan Revolution happened, and now we have this Republic of Etruria, and yeah, the answer is both. <laughs> well, we will see. Because that probably would be helpful. Or if I failed to edit that into the video comment section on YouTube, please tell me in the comment section so that I can actually do that. Or so that I can talk about the history of the place later on. Because there's a lot of spicy ravioli, like the fact that we're all Protestant for some reason. Now they... Uh, they just sang the war leadership? I mean, you reminded yourself now? Yeah, no I didn't. 
It's not like I'm going to... Oh, fuck off. You allied Austria? Damn it. Okay, well, that just complicates things. Like, um... I don't... <laughs> okay, this is gonna sound bad, but I don't actually watch my own videos. Um... Uh, I don't actually watch my own videos before I post them, because, like... Like, you know, if I post a 40-minute video, it's not like I have 40 minutes to just take out of my day to watch... To watch gameplay that I just played myself, you know? If that's egotistical or whatever, then yeah, it probably is. Because I should quality control things, but... Damn it, I don't make enough money out of YouTube to like to justify actually watching my own videos. <laughs> Which is why I always accidentally include a bunch of shit that I shouldn't. I have so many vi of my videos on YouTube that uh, I accidentally... Uh, that get copyrighted on YouTube because I forget to edit out the copyright mu copyrighted music that I play on stream. Which is why I have a policy on this particular stream that I'm not going to play any copyrighted music. Hey, Robsty! Thank you so much. Ten months, goddamn. Welcome to the land of Victoria 2, also known as the land of profound and extreme salt. May your stay be comfortable. I had such a good run right now, uh, Realm Steep. I had such a good run. But then the fucking libtards decided to fuck everything up. Like, unironically, the libtards broke my nation. I won a war against the number one power, which is the dual monarchy. And, yeah, and my nation collapsed. I actually killed the libtards because of bitterness. But all of the national minorities broke away, so... Thank you, Obama. Or whoever the Obama equivalent would be in this alternate reality. Like, Mazzini? He was like a... Was he a revolutionary? No, he might have been something completely different. I listened to a podcast called the... Um, the uh, Revolutions Podcast, so I do remember... Well, I guess I just proved that I don't remember much, but... At a certain point in time, I did remember certain things about the um, the 1848 liberal movement in Italy. Montesquieu? Nah, he was French, wasn't he? He was the whole, like, semi-democratic government bitch. Oh, wow, did I actually get the uh, CB against Etruria for free? Why? I am okay with that. If only there was some other nation I could annex. I mean, I guess I could annex Luca, but... I think we're gonna go invade Oyo instead. Yes. Honestly, let's just start fabricating on him right now, just because, you know, I don't want to sit on zero infamy. That's just not useful. And I probably should do that right now before I get too much, uh... Before I start getting too much, uh... uh what is it called? War exhaustion. Yeah, my track record in fighting the uh, Etrurians is not very good, is it? No, not very good at all. He was French? Alright. Lucca would look really nice, but um, I tried to conquer Lucca in my first attempt here, and that kind of didn't work. To be fair, I used a dumbass decision to do it, and the decision didn't tell me. Like, the decision was like, ah, oh, so because of the history of our nation, we actually have claims on Lucca, but. Um, and so we should invade them. It didn't tell me I would end up at war with, like, all of Italy, so... And, of course, Italy is allied with everyone else. I basically ended up with, at war with the entire world. And that is the story of how my first attempt at this campaign... ...stopped. Or, yeah, never really... You know, not, not that much came out of that. Oh, so you do actually get events about this stuff. No, 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 we good. Le risque est trop grand. Now, bitches, 
nuking my prestige I'm not happy about, but... I mean, I already have CB to conquer them, so I don't know why I would take an event to get me more CB, but... But yeah, noted. Declare war on Atruria before you get that event, because now I just lost 5 prestige for no reason. I should also totally um, prestige spam earlier in this attempt. Because that was actually pretty awesome last time I tried it. Yeah, let's mobilize some buys. And... Gather forth for an invasion. I like how I, I like how I told uh, Aragon like, "Hey, man, I'm not gonna do any invasions. I'm good. We're we're cool. We're cool." Also, yeah. Sorry, YouTube, if I'm not explaining too many things. I've already had to explain it like two times before because of my failed attempts. So, sorry, YouTube, for leaving you in the dark. Basically, what I'm telling you is, you should all play this mod yourself. I'm gonna upload the version of this mod that I am playing at some point, as I said. So. I will get around to doing that. Eventually. Damn it, in this okay, so in this alternate reality I did not get a good general. It's pretty disastrous to be honest. Wanna join? Oh ah, pff, they actually will? <laughs> well that's the first time in history anyone's actually wanted to join me. On my silly adventures. Yeah, see, and then they mobilize and then everything goes to crap. Dude, get down here, you lunatic. See, Ferrara? Help? Please? And here he comes. No, no, he's just gonna sit there and occupy. Well, thanks for nothing, asshole. Oh, wow, I actually lost. Okay, well, that's actually kind of embarrassing. Run! Ah, there, there's too many of them. Um... Oh god, I'm getting flashbacks to my earlier attempt. Oh, I'm gonna lose all my dudes again, aren't I? Wait, why aren't you running? Oh, damn it, they can't. Okay. On boat, quickly. Yeah, this might turn out... This might turn into an absolute disaster like the last attempt. Look, uh, why are you going to look at you bastard? And again, if he's splitting up his troops, then that might actually be beneficial. Damn it, if only I had an attack general. Get on the boat! Get to the boat! Yeah, I, need, I have a lot of salt in my body. I need to, like, get liquids to desaltify. And because the only liquid that I know of is beer, I need to make sure my beer glass is nicely stored in the freezer so that when I put beer in it, it will be nice and cold. I mean, you know, the, the beer is obviously cold as well, but, you know. Nah, that's not worth it. Let's do... let's do railroad. Alright, so now we have technology. We don't have the invention this time, but... Pape! 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 Pope! Help! Damn you, Pope! Aren't you supposed to defend Christians? Or defend, like, the traditional order? Look, Republic! How come you're not defending, you know, the... Uh, or I guess I'm the one attacking, but still, come on, man. You gotta defend those innocent souls from the abomination that... Ooh, yes, I'll increase conscription time. Thank you very much. Uh... Honestly, I should click this decision. Ah, oh, damn it, do I go through the history again? Ah, fuck it, let's go through the history. I'm gonna to forget to show you guys this on YouTube. 
So, the history behind Provence. So, basically, in this alternate reality where a bunch of shit happened, like, uh, basically, you know, this, this, the Castilians married uh, Portugal instead of Aragon. Uh, Mus or Russia never formed. Poland stuck around. Austria never gained the Holy Roman Empire crown. Instead, Bohemia got it. Most importantly for us, it's the fact that England won the Hundred Years' War, which resulted in them, them claiming the uh, French crown. Um, yeah, I won't read all of this, but you guys can just pause the video on YouTube and read it yourself. Uh, so, the only province that remains to the uh, House of Capet, or Valois, is the province of Provence. How fitting. Uh, so, we lurk down here, and after a bunch of history, uh, the, you know, the boys down here trying to influence Italy, which is why we have claims on the place. And then the religious war started, and Provence became Protestant, but then they did a bunch of other stuff and became tolerant, but I'm not sure if I believe that, because, I mean, everyone's Protestant, so I'm, I'm sure we can't have been that pro tolerant towards the uh, Catholics. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, so we fell into the influence of Aragon, and there was a revolutionary war against the Republic of Etruria, which was actually a, a place in the personal union of uh, of the Duke of Provence, hence why we got an event to try and reclaim it. And this is where we're at now. And we're going to try and form France, basically, by renewing the war of the French throne. Truly enlightened. I also like uh, how your literacy dropped off the yeah. <laughs> I still need to form Germany in this month. I haven't done that yet either. I mean, I just barely formed Italy or Germany in uh, HFM or in Victoria to at all, really. No joke. Uh, the current Let's Play I have is like... It's the first time I've ever actually bothered forming Germany in Victoria 2 ever. See, that's what you get for attacking. Maybe there's something to learn from that. You're not a war leader, are you? No. Okay, good. Yeah, honestly, I don't feel like attacking. I think I'm just going to sit here and occupy. I think that's the lesson I've learned from my Ferrar and bros. Do not attack. Defend and be happy. Yeah, these bastards don't have cavalry, so they can't occupy for shit, can they? Ha! Bastards. And so we have one and one's a most glorious victory. Right, so Truri has been annexed, which gives us a decision to claim Lucca, uh, but for the love of memes, do not press that button, because the decision doesn't actually tell you, like that, that's a, well, especially in this mod, but in Victoria 2 in general, the, the game is very fond of not telling you what happens if you do a certain thing. Like, oh, claim Lucca? I want to claim Lucca, that looks like fun. But then, um... But then it doesn't tell you that you're also going to have to fight Milan and their allies, uh, Savoy and their allies, which, you know, is the dual monarchy. You have to fight the Pope, I think. Basically, you have to fight, like, all of Western Europe. Decision doesn't tell you that. Like, does it sound like I'm salty? Because I am salty. Good thing, though, for those watching on YouTube, uh, we do actually have North Italian as accepted because of the whole historical claims crap. I mean, our nation, until, like, 40 years ago in the timeline, actually owned a bunch of Italian land, so it makes a bit of sense why we have Italian as accepted. HFM is a bit easier, but I need to... I uh, need to still do it as Austria, Bavaria. Hmm. Yeah, doing it as Bavaria could be fun, but I still haven't finished my Germany campaign in HFM as Germany, so... Don't tell the YouTube comment... or don't tell the comment section of YouTube, though, or they're gonna go into a riot again. So, CB lasts not infinitely, so honestly, why don't we just get down there and... Why don't we just get down there and sort out these lands? Let's see, is your army dead yet? Eh, not dead, but it's not like it's very thick. Dahomey has not really that much of an army. Hmm. I'm a bit spooked about the idea of just rushing down there with only 15 or 18k troops, but... 
Presumably those numbers will go up a tad once we, um, you know, reinforce a bit. I've seen somebody do it as Württemberg. Yeah, that was Dridlicious, right? No, he did it as a he did it as Baden, didn't he? It's kind of fitting because his let's play or his playthrough also ended with the Rebel Mania, which is how my previous attempt at Provence here ended. So why am I all of a sudden not making any money? Well, rest in peace for education, I guess. Oh yeah, because it's um yeah yeah it's because I'm building troops. I remember. But yeah, we should actually um, gather fort. You know what? Let's actually bring mobilized dudes down to Africa. Not something you normally should do, but I guess that's what we're doing. So, whoop tee do. Aragon would actually help me. But I don't trust Aragon. He's just gonna add some dumb war goal, and then he's gonna quote unquote forget about enforcing my war goal. And then I will be very sad. And sadness is not healthy. Second part, yeah, 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 I definitely need to prestige spam. I'm so used to playing um, HFM at this point that I've, I'm so not used to the concept of being able to prestige spam anymore. But in this mod, which is based on HPM, you totally can. So we totally should. And my navy is way too small to do this, but... Well, well. We have started the war, so... It's a bit... Too late for second... Um, second thoughts? No. Second... I honestly can't even remember what I was trying to say. But yeah, we're gonna do idealism, and honestly, after that, I might just start prestige spamming. Because prestige spamming was bloody well, f or b bloody good fun last time, so I definitely want to do that again. Uh, we do need to be quick in this war, though, because we are kind of like, oh, you know, running out of money. BRB, you gotta go finish watching the Germany campaign while I rub an auto clicker in EU4. Is that a euphemism for wanking? And what is a euphemism? I don't actually know. I've said this multiple times before, but there are plenty of English words that I honestly don't know what mean, but I've just I feel like I've heard them so many times that I feel I have a sense of in what context uh, I should Yeah, oh yeah, crack our run, definitely. Your boats are breaking apart? Yeah, I know. It's not that bad though. They'll live. You have not even you have not even seen how bad my boat shenanigans have gotten before in this game. Yeah, so the, yeah, a lot of the economy in this game is so dumb. This game, like I don't know, don't don't tell anyone in my euphemism. Wasn't that what I said? Yeah, but what is a euphemism? I should Google this. Because I hope I used it in the right context when I said that. But, uh... Yeah, a mild or indirect word or expression substituted for one considered to be too harsh or blunt when referring to something unpleasant or embarrassing. I'm pretty sure I used it in the right context then. Yeah, nicer way to say something. I forget what I actually said, but... I'm pretty sure that's, like... I'm pretty sure I got my point across. Right? Or not? You really are gonna run away from me, aren't you? Or no, you're not. Damn! I wish I had an. I wish I had a decent general. Basically, I just wish I had a not trash general. All right, there we go. Yeah, look at this. They're actually fighting back. I'm a failed European if I can't... Okay, no, I'm gonna stop that sentence before I say something awful. Uh, 
Oh, see, here comes the whole running out of money thing. Oh, bad. Right, hopefully he will peace out now. He will. Excellent. Of course, now I actually have to, like, fight this bastard. Which isn't fun. At least we have Hussals. So. Alright. Um, let's just send, like... Some troops. Let's not go overboard, even if I might have just done just that. You said with auto click and oh yeah, because I yeah, because I I assume that would be an auto. Right? I I assume that would be a euphemism for wanking, right? In your use, it would be an, a double entendre. Yeah, I, as I said, I bear, I basically don't know what a euphemism is, and I definitely don't know what a double entendre is. So, but hey, give a give a man points for trying, eh? Or don't. Honestly, it would actually be totally okay if you didn't. Because it's not like I deserve points for being bad at English. Yeah, but Servaka is a native English speaker though, so he... He knows more than us mere mortals. Sorry for being silent there for a second, I just had to actually use my brain for a while. I'm not very good at that, so... Be honestly, mm, do we uh, claim Lucka? The thing is that if, if I'm going to form... if I, Well, if, if the end goal of this is to form the abomination that is France, Italy, then... I'm going to get these guys for free later on either way. And as we just learned, uh, there's actually a pretty very good chance that you lose the quickened infamy reduction in 1848 when Germany forms. Um, so maybe we go violate more of Africa. Or maybe something entirely differently. 